Hey everybody, thanks for watching the video here. I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of our 2020 RPOD 190. Uh, this is not a review of the RPOD and it's not a how-to video. It's just a video of what we offer. We've got it posted on our V-Share for rent and figured we'd make a quick video to show you what all we offer that might be unique from somebody else. So try and make this quick one shot, no editing. We'll see how we do. First off, we've got an outdoor two burner cooktop dish pan water spigot super handy we actually don't think i've ever used the the two burner cooktop inside you're camping you're outdoors why would you want to be inside uh also has a nice power awning at the push of a button it retracts and extends uh pretty easy setup with that um some storage in the back here we send it out with some wheel chocks some leveling blocks some wood blocks for the stabilizer jacks. I've installed some auxiliary lighting, got some dome lights inside there, got some pods underneath for the stabilizer jacks. So set up in the dark is a breeze. Got a spare tire on the back, a little more storage over here. Uh, I send it out with a drill so the stabilizer jacks, you can zip up and down real quick. A couple power adapters, things like that. We got an outdoor shower head, hot and cold water, um, usual RV stuff, uh, gray and black tank drains, got city water hookup and the fresh water tank fill, water heater, dual fuel, propane or electric. Um, we've got everything you need to hitch it up. If you've got a two inch receiver and a round seven pin plug like that on your vehicle, then you are good to go. Um, we've got the weight distribution hitch with anti-sway and we've got a brake controller. We'll zoom in here. It's an auto brake brake controller. It's unique because it installs on the trailer. Um, so if you do not have a brake controller in your vehicle, you will need to check the box. It's a one-time fee. Legally, this trailer is heavy enough that you legally need to have a brake controller to actuate the trailer brakes so check the box super easy to use if you're not familiar with trailer brakes that's fine you don't really need to be with this system there's accelerometers in it and it kind of just does everything for you another add-on we've got is a bike rack this is a four bike rack rack we've got two full-size bikes and two kid bikes we put on it and they fit on there just fine not a huge rack but it gets the job done for the four of us uh, so it works out well Another add-on, and this, um, most people probably aren't going to need this, but we've got a 3,500 watt inverter generator. It'll run everything in the camper, plenty good, uh, AC, everything. Um, it's, it's a nice quiet unit. You're not going to be running this at a campground where we've got electricity or anything like that, but uh, here's our power hookup. It's a 30 amp RV style, uh, common for campgrounds. Generally, that's what most people I think are going to be needing. Another quick note, we really appreciate everybody that's rented this out. It's been out a few times here. We just got it in July, so it's a pretty new unit, and uh, we definitely appreciate those of you that have picked our unit. There's a lot of them out there, and we love this one. That's why we got it, but thank you for picking it. Thank you for the feedback. I shoot for five stars. I want everybody to have the best experience they can, and, uh, and so far it's been working out pretty good. Um, so, uh, another unique thing we have, we added a key code uh, door handle to this and I program it a unique code for each renter so you don't need to fumble around with the keys we got a big fat key ring with hitch lock keys and you know storage cover keys and all kinds of stuff so it's one less thing you don't have to deal with we'll just create a code for you makes in and out super easy so heading on in here We've got the dinette in the back. It seats four pretty easily, and I'm gonna have a tough time without a wide angle capturing all this really good, but this also converts into a bed, two-person bed. Um, opposite that, we've got the entertainment center, if you will, a little TV. There's an antenna up on the roof. It's kind of questionable how much you're gonna get for reception, but it's there. We also got an HDMI cable, so if you want to bring along a DVD player, you can plug that in. Got remotes for the stereo, which is up there, and the TV. Um, there's blinds that slide down on all the windows. These side windows, and the little kitchen window, and then two front windows all open up. 
Uh, so you can get some pretty good ventilation going on here. There's a power port up here, 12 volt power port. We usually plug a USB adapter into that. We set our cell phones right up on the, the shade ledge there, works out pretty slick. Got a furnace right underneath here. Got the overhead AC unit. Uh, makes a little bit of noise, not super quiet, but man does it work good. And on a hot night when you're sitting in a camper, it's nice to have that AC going. Got some storage here. I actually took out the closet rod and put shelving in here. That seems to be a much better use of space for how we use it. A few drawers down below there. Got a fridge and a freezer. Not a real big unit. It fills up fast. But it is a nice working fridge, so uh, we usually wind up bringing a cooler along also. But it is there. Got a little vacuum down here. Uh, you can actually kick that door open with your foot and it turns on and you can just sweep dirt right in there. Most of the time I just sweep it right out the door, but it's kind of a nice feature. Here's our two burner cooktop inside here. Got a nice little sink there. We send it out with just some basic essentials, some, some paper towels there, a few rolls of toilet paper, nothing too crazy. There's a few goodies in the drawer, lighters, can openers, stuff like that. We also have some instructions here. I've written up instructions specific to our unit, hitching it up, setting it up, tearing down, all that. And then we've got a little folder and we've got the manuals for everything in here. Uh, I would love to be able to walk everybody through how to operate the microwave convection oven, but I probably am not gonna be able to walk you through all that because I can't remember all of it. So all the manuals are in there if you need them. Um, some trash bags in there. We'll work our way into the bathroom. The bathroom's pretty nice. It's not huge, but we've got, it's not a wet bath. We've got a, a decent sized shower, upgraded shower head, um, and then of course the separate toilet. There's a little first aid kit, some extra rolls of toilet paper. Um, there again, not, not particularly furnished. We just try and keep it uh, clean and ready to go for whatever anyone wants to fill it up with. Got a nice exhaust fan up top. These fans have gotten great reviews from everybody and we love it. Kick that thing on and open up the windows and it's amazing how much it'll cool this place down. So I think that's a pretty good rundown of it. Um, certainly post some questions if you got any questions, but that's a, a quick rundown of our our Pod 190 on our V-Share. Um, there again, I appreciate everybody who's rented it. Thanks for the excellent feedback. Um, it, you know, check it out. I'll put a link to our posting on our V-Share, and I will put a link in our posting on our V-Share for this video. So check it out. Uh, let me know if you got any questions. Um, I'm flexible on rentals. I definitely try and make it easy. I have driven to Denver to pick this thing up after a rental even. So definitely open to one-way rentals and all of that. So uh, get in contact with me and let me know and we'll see what we can work out. Thanks again.